All right, what is going on, guys? Four Shatters here with another live commentary. Remember, playing on Standoff Free For All. Today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I joined Soar. So, um, basically, it all started with my first Call of Duty. I played uh, Call of Duty Four. That was like the best Call of Duty ever, I think, to this day. After buying Call of Duty Four, uh, I immediately would buy every single Call of Duty that appeared after that. Um, World at War. Uh, I forgot what there was. Mafia Two. Black Ops 1, I bought all of them first day, uh, I was obsessed with Call of Duty, like all my friends would like play with me as well. Call of Duty 4 is really my big time with Call of Duty, that's when I started to watch YouTubers. I found out about Zer Grizz around that time, and I was just amazed, like Zer Grizz would have like these insane no scope cross maps with his montages, and all of his sniping montages, I was in love with those, like they were just as crazy to me. Zer Grizz and Optic Predator, those two were my favorite YouTubers, I'd watch like every montage by them. So I always wanted to do like, you know, Call of Duty videos, but uh, I never had a PVR and I, I didn't want to ask my parents to one because I, I thought that was like a really weird idea. So like when Black Ops 1 came out, it had theater mode. I'm pretty sure that was the first Call of Duty that had theater mode with it. So I was like hyped, like I was ready to like get my clips to like show into the world and like finally be able to do sniping montages just like everybody else. And basically uh, my friend GTR, he would, he had a PVR and he would record all my clips for me in theater mode. And we would like go for Black Ops 1 sniping montage clips, even even though Black Ops 1 sniping was like terrible, if you guys remember what it was at that time. Like when you scoped in, um, your crosshair wouldn't be like in the center at first, it would be like, it wouldn't start off centered basically, I, I don't know how to explain it. You have to like drag scope really hard in that game, and also the bullet wouldn't go where your crosshairs were right away, you have to like wait a few seconds so that the bullet would actually like go toward where you're actually aiming for. So we started making these Black Ops 1 montages and I'll link it to you guys if you guys want to see it. But like I would kill like four people in a row, like not even a kill feed. And I thought that was like good. Like I had no idea what the standards were for clips and they were, my clips were terrible. So while me and GTR are making these uh, Black Ops 1 montages, we eventually came across FaZe on YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure what year this was in. I think it was around like, uh, I'm not sure. I just know it was like the first year that the ill cams like came out so uh, since i was already obsessed with no scopes i was like freaking out at the sight of no scopes with spins in them like phase was like absolutely mind-blowing to me at that time so i decided to make a clan called zoom so me and gtr we made this clan called zoom and basically we would go into random lobbies with people like just search and destroy we would just find people in lobbies we would tell them about our clan and we would like ask them to join like we were those randoms that asked people to join uh, clans in random search and destroy games, but in doing so we met a lot of cool people. We met people like uh, Retro, Pulse, uh, we even met like Adapt and Strobe who are now in phase, and a lot more other people that, too many to name. So while we were in Zoom, I just kept recruiting a bunch of people, and uh, eventually I would submit my clips to a bunch of community channels, and this is how I got recognized. So Psycho TCP found me in one of uh, community channels uploads, it was like a trick shot in Terminal. I forgot what it was exactly, but basically from that, he saw my channel, and he decided to recruit me to Psycho, and that's how Psycho Shatters began. So at that time, Psycho was mostly a EU team. I was like the only North American person in there, so I, I, would, I would like joke around with Zero and be like, hey dude, how about an NA roster? And he, he was actually serious about it, which I didn't know at first, and he actually offered me to like make my own NA roster. So basically he wanted me to find like a bunch of people to recruit into Psycho and that's where the 9 came from. If any of you guys remember what the 9 was, they're basically just a bunch of friends. The 9 consisted of Strobe, Adapt, Bam, Dan, Retro, Tofu aka Maxim, Jethro, and Pulse. So Zero actually let me recruit all 8 of them and basically we just call ourselves the 9 from there on. We were like the big group of people from Psycho that would always play together. So we just kept playing with them and basically eventually we got offered all 9 of us to join just just trick shotting and that was insane. Like we weren't even an, we weren't even on Xbox. We all had PS3s. Like we had no plans of even getting an Xbox and like they offered all 9 of us to join all at once an Xbox team while we grew on PS3. Like, that offer was amazing to us at that time. And to top all that off, once Soar found out that Just Trickshotting was about to take all 9 of us into Just, they made the same offer that Just did. They offered all 9 of us to join Soar, they would like get us Xboxes and everything, 
and that's pretty much how the nine joined Sora. But in the end, as the time went by, uh, most of us quit, sadly, and I don't know where most of us are, are anymore. Most of the nine, I don't know where most of them went, but I'm still here in Sora. Adapt and Shobe got in phase. I don't know where Jethro is. Uh, I think that he's just living his life right now. He didn't even like tell us anything about quitting. Like, he just stopped playing out of nowhere, basically, which is how most of them quit too. I don't know where Bam and Dan are anymore either. Um, they're probably just living their life as well. I think Bam still plays, but I, I don't know his account. And as well as Pulse, he just he just plays sometimes, but mostly he's living his life. Uh, Retro too. And Tofu slash Maxim, um, he's playing League of Legends. <laughs> um, he plays League of Legends me sometimes, but I guess he doesn't really play that often, uh, as much as he used to at least. But yeah, that's pretty much the story of how I got into Soar along with the 9. I also want to let you guys know to leave a comment down below to let me know if you guys want to see me talk about any sort of topics in particular. So that's about it guys, make sure you leave a like and comment if you enjoyed, and peace.